बात हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू गॉडलीवुड स्टूडियो एंड टू लाइट ऑफ नॉलेज वंस अगेन वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ राज योगा मेडिटेशन एंड वी हैव सीन दैट देर आर एट पावर्स व्हिच कम इन टू प्ले व्हेन वन स्टार्ट्स टू मूव थ्रू द पाथ ऑफ मेडिटेशन एंड राज योगा मेडिटेशन इज ऑल अबाउट एप्लीकेशन वी लर्न वी अप्लाई वी ग्रो एंड वी मूव ऑन सो टुडे आल्सो we are going to discuss about one of those powers which is so important the power to face problems because it is when problems comes that we find ourselves a little bit weak or unable to move forward and we have this tendency also sometimes we try to escape from the problem rather than facing the problem so how to face problems and what are the dimensions of it come let us discuss with rupa benji Benji welcome to the studio welcome to the show thank you uh benji in this series you have been talking about problems and how to find solutions uh, through meditation and knowledge uh, still there are some questions remaining first of all uh, nobody wants problem mm. but still we are facing many of them uh, what is the root of every problem or how does they come the way it emerges may be different to one person mm. it may vary from person to person some problems are very small to someone the mm. same problem seems to be very big to someone therefore it is uh, not the problem is a problem the one who sees the way his attitude towards that and how he has got the power mm. whether he has got ability to understand the situation or not how he will overcome how he will adjust or how he will manage the situation it varies from person to person mm. and therefore we cannot say the one problem is a problem of another person also a problem which i am seeing it's a problem mm. for me it may not be a problem at all to somebody else mm. abinj here i would uh, like to intervene uh, i was listening to some class and there was a description that there are different levels or stages uh, that is a person who is in level 2 might find a problem of level 3 such a huge problem mm. and a person who is sitting in level 8 will find that problem very simple and he will tackle it very easily so how can uh, this level come into application a good meditator he constantly filling his energy mm. godly energy power from god in his soul if the soul is having complete understanding of the knowledge of self others world cycle mm. drama and karmic accounts and the law of karma and uh, what his ability is and how to use the knowledge at mm. right time mm. and practicing that it all matters mm. how much he is expert in all this mm. then the problem whichever comes may be very big for a layman who is not having this knowledge and he who is having this much wisdom and along with wisdom he is supported with powers also for him problem seems to be a game hmm. because he is already having ability and understanding but a person who is not having the knowledge why it is existing why it has come to me and what is the way to overcome this and how to have that ability if it is absence in somebody's life for him it is a big situation mm. and he may be struck up there sometimes he may go back mm. or sometimes unable to overcome he may think of losing himself also mm. and therefore people in life many situations which are very small for people who are having wisdom but for them it may be like a mountain and mm. finally they can't cross the mountain they think it's absolutely impossible and therefore it is better to die than live this kind mm. of conclusion they are coming to at some point and therefore the light of knowledge is very important first mm. of all mm. before you are going to uh, overcome the problem or solve the problem face the problem the way you want mm. a good player understand the game first mm-hmm. what is the sequence of game and what is the law of the game and how he has to play before entering to the uh, ground he has to prepare himself mm. how he prepares 
practicing and energizing himself then every ball it is coming to him it's a play for him mm. life is also like that so, so if you are not prepared for the ball uh, you will not enjoy the game whether you want the ball to come or not in mm. life situation will come so better to keep ourselves mm -hmm. prepared and filled and mm -hmm. be ready let anything come i think really because uh, some people are so afraid of facing the ball they uh, decide to sit in the gallery and watch uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it also happen they don't want to involve in the game because they feel it is hard just like uh, in some saying it is said the ship is very safe at the harbor but it is not meant to be in the harbor it needs to go into the yes uh, so uh, how can we find that courage to go into the game and play see for that we have to have the initiation mm -hmm. and whenever there is some challenging situations are there you take up and whatever the abilities you have you just use it mm. as you use and try to do you become expert sometimes it may be difficult mm. doesn't matter but uh, there of course we need the help of others mm. and also a good communication with god as in previous episodes i said a good meditation stage will give a sixth sense opening where you get guidance mm -hmm. your intellect itself will be so clear that you can visualize there is some problem to come mm -hmm. you will sense that then you are ready like sometimes there is cyclone somewhere then we get the hints mm -hmm. some signs then we will become careful mm -hmm. and we try to protect ourselves life is also like that all of sudden there are some reasons why such kind of problems are arising maybe because somebody else is weaker Mm. or maybe my karmic accounts of the past suddenly comes in front of mm. me mm. in way of disease or in way of losing something in way of conflict with somebody many reasons like that so when i understand oh this is the reason and how i have to overcome awareness will be clear then it should be very clear for a person mm. to face and move forward so i think bench as you say uh, it is this weaknesses which we have Uh, which creates problems externally yes. and I have read somewhere that uh, these are problems are just a reflection of your weaknesses inside if that is the case then uh, any situation any problem whether someone is creating it or whatever I think we should immediately turn into ourselves and ask uh, what have I done mm. so that I, I am getting this we need not ask ourselves what I have done mm. okay if somebody is quarreling with you mm -hmm. all of sudden for example you are going in a right way mm. let's take the example that you have a vehicle and you are driving in a right way mm -hmm. you are not uh, overlooking the uh, loss of the traffic whatever it is so you are fine mm. but suddenly somebody comes on mm. your way mm. and the accident takes place then i need not ask myself what i have done wrong mm. it is but but if i don't ask that question then immediately the focus goes to the other person why he is doing like this and a lot of see that negative. situation is an accidental mm -hmm. either you are wrong or he is wrong mm. maybe he is also not wrong you are also not wrong but situation has taken place mm -hmm. now is the time to cross that mm -hmm. for that i need to make myself understand the present situation presently i have not done anything wrong mm. i was moving in my track but definitely with that person in previous birth e any such account of karma which is negative that has come in my way mm. so let us accept that situation till that is coming from me yeah i have to settle that account mm. of negativity mm. with him mm. therefore that situation has come mm. all of sudden mm. and here if i don't understand this concept then i will start fighting with him mm -hmm. mm. or quarreling and then that will become again a new account of karma so here either i have to settle down with love understanding or pay for the extent loss what has happened or amicable understanding mm. so this is how we try to use the light of knowledge in each situation therefore i said knowledge is a power knowledge is not simply to understand but it acts like a power 
to solve the problems with that enlightenment. So therefore, God constantly gives the knowledge. Even a good meditator listen to godly knowledge because he come across with many situations where the knowledge keeps on guiding and until we reach the total perfection. Hmm. Perfection in the sense where I don't have any more karmic accounts with anybody, so called bad or good. Hmm. I have good account of karma, what I have done and that I start giving to others. So that is the highest stage hmm. that every individual can reach. Uh, so Benji, we have been talking about problems and problem seems to be on the rise in the coming time also. Uh, so, in such a chaotic situation, if at all it comes, uh, what should be the attitude towards the problems? As I told that problem varies from person to person. Hmm. Either small or big, it is up to them how to deal with that. Hmm. If we want to make the problem small, let us take it as a game. Hmm. So, you will have lighter mood and you overcome that in the attitude of playing. And let us see the problem in the attitude of an exam mm. or a test paper for mm -hmm. me or mm. it is an opportunity to show my ability. Mm. Examinations usually uh, we don't like the word examinations. Um, but a spiritual aspirant will take every situation as a test paper. Mm -hmm. So that the amount of energy, ability what I have, it is the time to use it experiment hmm. so that that powers and knowledge can help me to resolve that problem. And if it is the attitude we develop as to see as an opportunity and which will make me move forward. Once I resolve that, then I move forward and become more experienced. And experience is more uh, powerful than just we talk or read about knowledge and therefore experience makes a person more and more perfect. So in this knowledge also God allows us to experiment and experience and mm. every situation even a problem seems to be like a cyclone mm. attacking you. It creates lot of upheavals in your mind, disturbances and distractions. Yet God advises, you see some pearls will come in that also. Mm. In Hindi there is beautiful word, Tufan Tofa. Tofa mm. means gift, mm. Tufan means cyclone. So when a problem occupies from all over, yet you be remaining quiet and see how better I can take this also into a positive level. Definitely it will be blessed with some good positive reward. But at that time we need not get disturbed. Hmm. We should be stable, calm and then find a proper solution and do it with right time. Once my mind is disturbed with the problem, I cannot go to the part of the solution. Hmm. And uh, highest attitude we should be able to develop is every problem has got solution. Hmm. Problem seems to be a so problem because I have not knowing the solution. When I am aware of the solution, where is the problem? So there is a solution for every question which is pestering our mind. I think uh, that answer lies within ourselves rather than outside. So through meditation, we should look more into ourselves to find out that answer. Thanks a lot, Benji, for today's discussion. Now it is time for us to move to the next session. So dear friends, that has been a wonderful discussion as usual. We have understood that problems can come and it can come very hard at times. Once we move along the path of meditation and transformation, the weaknesses which create problems can get transformed into powers and once we become powerful, there won't be any problem again. So let us convince ourselves that a problem-free life is possible. It is waiting for us. Now let us go to the question of the day. I am Kalpana. I am a housewife. I am from Vishakhapatnam. My question is that I am not able to sleep till late night. For that, what can I do? So, Benji, a uh, common question of nowadays. It can happen because of many reasons. Mm -hmm. She hasn't mentioned the reason uh, behind it. Uh, whatever may be the reason, sleeplessness is such a common ailment now. So, what can be the solution? In this question, I would like to share a thought 
of practice of meditation mm. raj yoga meditation can reset our mindset mm. because many people suffer with this problem maybe from longer time they have developed an habit to go to sleep after 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock like that so even after that if they want to go to sleep earlier maybe the program in the subconscious level is not reprogramming and therefore they are unable to go to sleep even they wish to hmm. in meditation what happens is first you calm down the mind and also the unwanted things gets dissolved mind clearance will be there and then i start feeding what i want if the reprogramming of thoughts has to take place raj yoga meditation is the good solution mm. for that i mm. will just share one live example which taken place many years ago in mount abu during 1976 from that time i think um, our institution started giving raj yoga classes in 3 days people of different walks of people they used to come and stay in our premises and they started listening about soul supreme and then method mm. of meditation mm. this was named as raj yoga camp which is still taking place in all our uh, um, campus one lady who came to attend this sessions she attended first lesson she was a big officer in some area she was stressed with some pain in her mind and this pain was holded in her mind from many years whenever she wants to go to sleep she becomes sleepless mm-hmm. though body is getting tired mind also wants little relaxation her complaint was she has not slept for many years mm-hmm. she can lie down but not getting a sound sleep you see sleep means again we get back the energy and that process was not taking place so she became sick actually first lesson of soul she listened and uh, how mind and intellect works and the impressions are going to uh, give the uh, action and reaction process how it takes and deeper layer of latencies which will also affect our present uh, life of the activities as she was listening then after lecture usually we give commentary mm. where people can at least little practice about the soul conscious stage so our senior sister who started giving commentary that was so soothing for her and what actually the sequence took place nobody was aware but she fell asleep mm. and she was so deeply uh influenced by that sleepy stage the drowsiness she could not control herself and she just walked uh away from the gathering and went to her room and slept hmm. and this session completed and nobody was uh, really more attentive when she got up and when she went away and everybody was uh, attending classes as usual and next day so some people who came along with her they could not see her in the gathering and they thought where she is and somewhere she may be roaming here and there or attending some class or talking with somebody like that they thought after one day the second day also she was not there hmm. then they complained to the senior sister so and so where she is because she at that time not much people were there so they could get individual rooms and so they were more comfortable then the senior sister said okay where she is staying let us go and see in her room so she sent one brother and the door was locked then after long time of knocking she opened the door she was there and why she is not attend the classes the question was asked she said in my whole life the sleeplessness which i suffered this is the time i slept beautifully and with so much of deepness and i am enjoying sleep mm-hmm. so she gave the statement in her experience through raj yoga meditation 
we can sleep well and also awake well. Hmm. So, same thing they can also apply in their life. Hmm. Uh, meditation, as you say, is kind of a balanced medicine. Uh, because for those who are suffering from uh, sleeplessness, it can give them the feeling of sleep and the other way also. This shows that it is a kind of a beautiful way of settling our life. So, thank you very much for that answer. So, friends, that has been a wonderful question and a wonderful answer. So, sleeplessness or insomnia is a great problem faced by many in our society. There has been a lot of research, but the results are not very convincing, I should say. And Raj Yoga meditation is such a beautiful way of balancing our daily routine. Uh, if we are sleepless it can give us the feeling of sleep and if we have the problem of sleeping more due to some or other problems it can really energize us so that our sleep can come to a normal so let us practice this raj yoga meditation and find the benefits for ourselves now it is time for us to move on to the last session of the episode that is attitude virtue and reflection So, Benji, we have come to the practical application part that is the attitude and virtue. What is today's attitude and today's virtue you are sharing? Let us take the attitude of making waste into best. Either it is physical things or even the thoughts hmm. and uh, other things around us. Because many times we think of waste thoughts, we observe waste things. Hmm. We have a habit of accumulating more things, less we are using. Mm. And that remains unused, definitely it becomes waste. So, let us develop the attitude of making the best out of waste. Waste things are there, waste thoughts are there. So, mm. we shall use that energy to do something constructive. Mm. And this attitude helps us not only for ourselves but also to others. And so many times we are wasting our time in observing the waste things around. Either it is the uh, people's behavior or sometimes we sit in front of TV and simply watch so many waste things. And that is also making our mind mm. more polluted. And uh, so many times we waste our time and energy by watching, by observing, by listening and even by thinking waste thoughts. Mm. So, it is a beautiful art, I can say that how to make waste into best. Mm. And uh, there are people who beautifully make the waste things which we are dumping in the waste box that also they creatively use and that looks more uh, beautiful as well. Similarly, the most important energy that we have is our thought energy. Let us not let it go in waste. So, each thought, it should be countable. Mm. It should be meaningful and it should be constructive. Because in whole day, how many thoughts we are creating, people are less aware of it. Mm. So, approximately, according to medical research, they say 30,000 thoughts we generate. Every day? Every day. Mm. So, if all the thoughts are analyzed whether all are fruitful, all are constructive, all are best thoughts. So, hopefully we may not give positive answer to mm. that. So, meditation helps us to make more meaningful and fruitful thoughts. This gives energizing feeling in ourselves. And supportive virtue we shall take up Always give good wishes to every individual, either they are good or bad, doesn't matter. But my virtue which is constantly is to give good wishes to everyone, mm -hmm. whether they are friend or foe, whether they are relative or non-relative, whether they are behaving okay or not, it's not making any difference. Mm -hmm. It is my nature to use the virtue of giving simply good wishes to everyone and which makes us see the world more beautiful and people are also good around me 
this positive feelings I can enjoy. Making best out of waste is really an inspiring <coughs> thought and we have heard about even little school children taking waste things and making best out of it. I think this attitude should be there in all the fields and all mm -hmm. the dimensions of our life so that uh, there is no more waste remaining as you said even in mind and we can enjoy the life so yes. beautifully. So can we have a reflection on that? Sit in a comfortable position, being focused towards your inner self, see yourself as a tiny point of light filled with the divinity, spiritual energy which flows in the form of good wishes to everyone. I am the child of Supreme Father, the Almighty God Shiva. He is also a point of divine light, constantly radiating the good wishes to all of us. Being the child of the benefactor of the world, the one who always bestows good wishes to me and everyone. Therefore, we call him as Lord Shiva, giver of good. Hence, I start thinking of good of everyone. Being the child of Supreme Father, I am also the master of bestower of good wishes. I start radiating the rays of good wishes to each and every one. Let them be happy. Let them be successful. Let them get what they want. Let them be peaceful. I support through these good wishes to make everyone happy and feel more energetic and contented in their life. In return, I feel more happy and contented by constantly giving good wishes without any conditions, without any expectations. I am happy to see everyone rejoicing in their life. Om Shanti. Benji, as you are taking us through meditation, the thought comes to mind that this session continue like this for long. But due to time limit, we will have to stop here and we will discuss about this more in the coming episode. Thanks a lot from the heart for coming here and giving us such a lot of inputs. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So dear friends, as usual, that has been a wonderful journey. Uh, even though we are doing short sessions of meditation here, I think you will practice it for yourself for longer time for much better benefits. And meditation is such a process that when you start and when you start to move along the path, it gets more and more interesting. So we hope that is the same with you. And any queries, any confusion, any doubts about Raj Yoga meditation, please feel free to write to us, email us or call us on our number. Until we meet in the next episode with another interesting topic, it is a goodbye from all of us.